Hey guys, welcome to Breaking Food. As you guys can tell, got a haircut. And in this video, I'll be doing my impressions on the Galaxy Note 9 that was just um, uh, unveiled today. And I don't have it, but from experience and from watching some of the videos and reading some articles, I think this is going. This is the perfect phone for everyone, not just for tech geeks, but for everyone else, non-tech geeks, grandma, grandpas, freaking babies, man. I think this is one of the best phones for any uh, for everyone. So you got a really large battery, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So think about it. So this phone, my OnePlus 5T, has 3,300 3, milliamp hour battery, which can last around like almost a full day. And um, have it on low battery mode, it can last until like four in the morning the next day. So imagine having 4,000 milliamp hour battery. That's really big. Um. And as you guys know, only the Galaxy phones, like this, uh, like the Note 7, the one that exploded, had a really big battery, and it was one of the best phones. But the reason, like they recalled it, because the reason it was not a good phone to have was because exploding problems. I think the Note 9 is the better version of the S7 and here uh, I mean uh, of the Note 7 hear me out because you got the same exact thing as the Note 7 but you get a bigger display so you know you got the S Pen right so you can do more work on it which is really good display is really good sharp and Samsung makes it best displays on the market and as you guys know Samsung makes displays for the new iPhone 10 I don't know if they make it for the other iPhones, but I know they're making displays for the iPhone 10. And um, it has a near bezel-less display, but except that it doesn't have a notch, which is, which is a good thing, because I don't like notches. It has the really, it has a really smart and good S Pen, and with the new S Pen, it uh, can ju it, you can use the S Pen to actually, um, to actually there's a button on the S Pen, you can use it to reprogram anything, so like you can a long press uh, um, uh, the um uh, the button on the pen to do something, so like long press that button to open the camera, double press it to um take its picture, um click it three times and it goes to selfie camera or whatever, something like that, you can program it to do it anything which is really good and it has uh, you know the dual camera just like the s9 but except that it has the um the uh i think it's the main camera or the secondary camera with the uh, aperture changing like the s9 and s9 plus and I think it's a really good thing. Uh, that's a really smart move from Samsung to have that because, as you guys know, uh, there's a lot of people who do smartphone photography, and having a phone like a Note 9, big display, really good, and big display, big battery, stylus, um, is really good stylus, um, headphone jack. Um, wireless charging, big battery, um, fast charging if we're using wired headphone jack if I had mentioned that, dual uh, speakers, stereo speakers, you gotta, you gotta make the phone into a really, uh, you gotta have a good camera for that because, I mean, without a good camera, you're, then all those other features suck. And what I like about the S9 is, I mean, the Note 9 is, it has stereo speaker. Just like the S9 and the iPhone 10, and as you guys know, I'm using the OnePlus 5T, and of time when I use the speaker, it, the it, the noise comes from here. It's not a stereo speaker. I wish it was on the OnePlus 5T, but I suggest getting the Note 9. And what other? And there's another cool thing. 
which is um like normally Samsung uh, when it whenever they sell s smartphones right they would only sell in one uh, internal storage configuration which is like either 32 